Ta-da! So, I was sitting on the couch last night and staring at my phone and thinking, hey, I want to start reading another book. But it's the reading rush, so I could not start early. No, no. I waited until this morning before I began reading my choices. I haven't chosen all my choices yet, <laughs> mostly because I'm not entirely sure how ambitious I should be, so some of my choices could work for more than one prompt. Um, but I am super excited to have chosen my day one choices uh, because I've been meaning to read both of these books uh, for most of the year, uh, for one of them, since I heard about it basically, and uh, for the other one, it's been on my bookshelf for a while. This is my uh, poetry section, classic poetry section that I never touch but always mean to touch. So this morning I started with a selected poetry of Yeats. It's not bad. <laughs> it's no Lord Byron. I, as you can tell, I have a clear bias, but uh, maybe I can read the selected poetry of Lord Byron later and uh, remind myself of why I love classic poetry so much. I have found one that I'm going to read to you while I try to complete the day one challenge, which is to draw a character in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm also going to make my lovely cameraman do it too, because uh, he's a much better drawer than I am. So the other book that I'm starting today and the one that I've been excited about all year is on my e-reader, as you can tell. And it is The Chai Factor by Farrah Heron. This sounds like so much fun. She's sort of a local author. I mean, she lives in Toronto and I live in Ontario, so it counts, right? Um, I'm super excited to read this because I've heard so many good things about it and it's a rom-com and it touches on some very um, deep points, which kind of is what I like in my rom-coms. I like them to be funny, but I also like them to address um, some solid issues. So I am very excited to be starting The Chai Factor, which is my debut. And the book that I will be uh, turning to a page and then drawing the page, uh, drawing the character from that page, is going to be Weird Sisters. Uh, my cameraman and I, uh, I should stop referring to him as my cameraman. Considering he's not currently here, he's currently asleep in bed. This is all me. This magic is all me. And he'll probably cut it together. But anyway, uh, Mark and I have been reading uh, the Discworld novels very slowly together <laughs> in audio. And we are currently on Weird Sisters. So I'm going to turn to a random page in Weird Sisters and I'm going to make him draw that character in 30 seconds and me too. Although mine might just be a bird, because that's what I can draw in 30 seconds. Let's do it! Alright, it looks like Nanny Og. Nanny Og. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Let me just put a little ticky-tack here so that I remember that it's Nanny Og and don't do this again and then start drawing Granny Weatherwax, although I would like to draw Granny Weatherwax. She is later on in this page. I just saw Nanny first. Anyway, we're going to read, we're going to draw Nanny Og from Weird Sisters. And I hope you enjoy this video of me drawing while I am reading a poem. Since we only have 30 seconds, I'm going to be reading the Lamentation of the Old Pensioner, and that's by W.B. Yeats. Although I shelter from the rain under a broken tree, my chair was nearest to the fire in every company that talked of love or politics ere time transfigured me. The lads are making pikes again for some conspiracy, and crazy rascals rage their fill at human tyranny. My contemplations are of time that has transfigured me. 
There's not a woman turns her face upon a broken tree, and yet the beauties that I loved are in my memory. I spit into the face of time that has transfigured me. I hope you're all super excited for the reading rush because I know I am. Let's see if I can get through the chai factory in one day as planned. <laughs> uh, and we'll see what my choices will be for tomorrow. Happy reading.